Good morning friends and welcome to the morning tales for July 1st 2019. Today we will be discussing about very important appointments as well as we will be discussing about the key economic changes that the government is planning to implement. Quite interesting right? So let's begin our morning tales with this first question which is very important from exam point of view. So do listen to this question very carefully. who will head the committee set by government to revise the wholesale price index quite important it is so recently an 18 member committee has been formed by government in order to revise the wholesale price index methodology basically the method through which this wholesale price index is computed and ramesh chand that is option b has been chosen as the head of this committee so the answer to this question is option b that is ramesh chand now the other very significant question which arises here is that why is there any need to change the wholesale price index after all so recently as we all know that wholesale price index is calculated on the base year 2011 to 12 so recently government felt that by taking 2011 to 12 as the base year for computing wholesale price index they would not get a clear picture of real economy basically they believe that since 2011 to 12 many changes have been incorporated in the economy and therefore in order to get a realistic picture the this base year needs to be changed along with changing the consumer basket of goods as well as price collection method so these three things will be changed or revised by this committee first is the base year which is 2011 to 12 second is consumer basket of goods and third is price collection method so these three things will be reviewed here by this committee now another very very significant function that this committee will undertake is to suggest a road map or suggest a method to shift from wpi to ppi so this is quite important from the exam point of view now what is this ppi basically the ppi stands for producer price index so as the name itself is suggesting that ppi will measure the prices at the level of production itself basically ppi measure the price which a producer gets for his goods and wpi measures the prices or the changes in the prices when the goods enter into the wholesale stage of its transportation so are you getting my point that ppi is the producer price index which measures the change in the price at the very grassroots levels and wpi that is the wholesale price index measures the change in the price at the wholesale level and we all are aware of the fact that products are produced at one place and transported at another place and in this journey of production to transportation there is the wholesale chain in the middle of it which contributes a significant portion in increasing the prices of the goods apart from this currently india computes only wpi and cpi and it is planning to incorporate ppi or rather replace wpi with ppi and another important fact about this committee is that the, for processing of reports and recommendation the nodal office will be dpiit dpiit stands for department for promotion of industry and internal training So now guys can you tell me that which ministry regulates the DPIIT or under which ministry does this DPIIT operate do mention your answers in the comment section below now let's move on to the next question of today which is which ministry has set up 713 krishi vigyan kendras and 684 agriculture technology management agencies to use digital technology in rural india to double farmers income by 2022 very important from exam point of view that the government is planning to double the farmers income by the year 2022 and this 2022 is also the year by which indian government is planning to create a new india so in the backdrop of the new india vision this agenda of doubling farmers income is very important now which ministry has launched the krishi vigyan kendras and agricultural technology management agencies there are five options ministry of communication telecom electronics and it agriculture and farmer welfare and ministry of home affairs so out of these five options it is very evident that the option d that is ministry of agriculture and farmer welfare is the answer to this question 
So now the second most important part of this question is that what is the reason behind launching the Krishi Vigyan Kendras? So the reason is that the government will use the technology in rural India to make farmers aware about the technology. So under this initiative only an interministerial committee has also been set up to suggest strategies to achieve this goal of doubling farmers income by 2022. Now let's move on to the next question of today. Which state has topped in Niti Aayog's Health State's Progressive India Report 2019 in overall performance? So friends, this is a very important report from exam point of view. So do listen to this information very carefully. So now this Niti Aayog's Healthy State's Progressive India Report measures the overall performance of a state in terms of health. So now this report has one base here and a reference here on the basis of which it compares the overall performance of the states. So the base year for this report is the year 2015 to 16 and the reference year is 2017 to 18. So our answer to this question is option D that is Kerala which has topped this index. Now this index ranks the states on 20 three key indicators for performance. So now in order to understand the report better let us divide the report into three parts larger states, smaller states and UTs. So for the larger states it is the state of Kerala which has topped the index and it is UP which has been ranked at the lowest position in the health index. Now in terms of smaller states, now what are smaller states? Smaller states are those states which are low in number of population and area. So these small states have seven sister states of India as well as Goa. Now in this smaller states category it is the Mizoram which has been ranked at the top position and and Nagaland has been ranked at the very last spot. Now other category of this report is UTs, Union Territories. In the category of Union Territories, Chandigarh has topped the index and Daman and Diu was the last in this index. So do remember this index that which state has ranked the overall index. Now let's move on to the next question. Who has been appointed as the new raw chief? RAW stands for Research and Analysis Wing and recently Samant Kumar Goyal has been appointed as its new chief. So do remember this thing because it is a very important appointment. So do remember this thing that Samant K. Goyal has been appointed as the new RAW chief. Now where is the headquarters of RAW? Do mention your answers in the comment section below that where is the headquarter of RAW. Now let's move on to the next question or rather the next appointment. So who has been appointed as a new chief of intelligence bureau? There are five options Arvind Kumar, Keshav Bhist, Donal Yadav, Gaurav Karmarkar, Yogesh Maheshwari. So out of these five options if you guys are familiar with this face then you can easily guess the answer that the answer is option A that is Arvind Kumar. So recently he has been appointed for a term of two years as the intelligence bureau's new chief. Let's move further towards the next question. With which company has TriFed partnered to promote the products under its brand name Tribes India? Recently, Ministry of Tribal Affairs has launched a Go Tribes campaign to promote tribal art and craft products. Now, this campaign was organized by TriFet. TriFet is a marketing body of tribal goods under the tribal ministry itself. So, it is a marketing body and what does TriFet stand for? TriFet stands for Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India. TriFet has recently partnered with one of the companies from the options to promote the products of tribal art and craft under its brand name Tribes India. So Tribes India is the brand name of the tribal products which are promoted by TriFed and recently TriFed had partnered with one of the company. So which company has TriFed partnered with? The answer to that question is option C that is Amazon. So Amazon will be selling the products of Tribes India under two sections. So the two sections will be Tribes of India Heritage Collection and Tribes of India Natural Collection. So it is a factual question that you need to remember. Now let's move on to the last question of today that is who among the following has been recently appointed as a member to International Olympic Committee from India. So now guys it's the comment time and the 
the question is for you that you will have to answer in the comment section below but this appointment is very important why this appointment is important because this person who has been recently elected as a member in international olympic committee is the current chief of indian olympic association and fih fih is the international hockey organization or the authority which regulates the sport of hockey apart from this with this new appointment in the international olympic committee the ioc now has 105 members in total out of these 105 members two members are indians one is this personality and second person is neeta ambani so do mention your answers in the comment section below that who has been recently elected to the international olympic committee from india so thank you so much guys for watching our video and if you have learned anything do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for all the latest update thank you so much